Hey guys, what's happening? It's Katie Churchill and it is, my puppy wants me to throw the ball. It is uh, Tuesday, April 26, 2011 and I uh, wanted to make a video. It's been a while, I know, and I wanted to let you know what's been going on in my world. Hi, and my kitty's out here too. Everybody's coming to say hello. Um, so last time I talked to you, I had just done an event called the Elegant Warriors Sisterhood Soiree with Miss Tara Ganim, um, right here in Maui, my first Maui event, and it was great. It was like, a, you know, a gathering of some of my closest girlfriends here got together, and a few new faces, and it was so fun. It launched something, um, it not only did it launch, but it also completed something within me that I had been calling out for quite some time, which was, you know, a powerful circle of women around me. And, um, and then I left for the mainland for two weeks to go visit my sister and her brand new baby PJ. If you guys have been checking out my Facebook, you'll see lots of little pics of PJ. And, uh, and then went to visit my friend Brandon and went for the first time to Sedona, Sedona, Arizona. Super fun. I uh, went and talked to a psychic, which was cool. Went to this thing called the Shambhala, which had these really neat, um, like, sacred, like, shaped um, things that you lay under and did this meditation and really cool actually like very powerful like sh almost shook me to the bone and had me like ooh, like almost out of my body for a moment um, so did that and met a few people there made a few connections came home and a lot had shifted with Jason and I uh, in our relationship a lot of things we had a lot of things going on we had house guests for like nine ten weeks um like three people actually staying in our little two bedroom and it, it started to get really intense like towards the end um and then it was like boom everybody was gone and he had the house to himself for a few weeks for the first time in a long time and i came back and just some things had shifted with he and i for the good for the better um for the growth and um since then we've just kind of been on this let go let god adventure and I, I have kind of a, I had a cool idea the other day about just doing a, a whole series on the let go, let God. Because um, if, you, if, you, if you followed my work, most likely you found me through, you know, some sort of internet marketing thing or network marketing or blogging or something. And for a long time that stuff, it was like, I thought I had to do it. Notice what I just said. I thought I had to do it in order to be successful. I thought I had to do these things. And it never felt right to me. It didn't feel right before I got into it. It didn't feel right when I was doing it. And it didn't feel right the whole time I was forcing and pushing. And, uh, you know, when I look back in my life, the things that have always come to me came through synchronistic events or they came through the flow. They came through nothing that I was doing physically and it, and it took me this long to make the connection that some of the successes I had in my life were not because of necessarily actions I was taking and if they were actions they were inspired actions they were actions that I felt so good and excited and happy and ha about and you know not just myself pretty much everyone I've met in this industry that's been pushing against this thing for two years they're so sick of it. They're so sick of it. You know, there's there's a handful of um, people that have made it work. You know, they definitely carry that warrior archetype where they love really hard, complicated, you know, overachieving type of personalities. And most people just don't want to do that. I mean, let's get honest. It's like, do you like money? Yes. Do you like to work for money? No. Well, most people would say no. No. I just want the money to come to me. And so this is kind of a new idea that I've been stepping back into um, from a whole new kind of sophisticated vantage point and really just been like relaxing. And I, I say to myself now, you know, I relax, I release, I receive, I allow, I let go. I relax, I allow, I receive, I let go. I relax, I receive, I allow, I let go. Um, and uh, that's kind of where I'm at. It's just the like, <sighs> take a deep breath and, and stop trying to push and push and force and force and just relax and, and, and delegating these tasks to the universe. It's like, it, it, I, I had the download in Sedona that, you know, I said to my friend Brandon, you know, I think, I feel like I have this trust issue and I'm not sure where this has come from where it's like, I don't trust. I don't know if I trust myself, I don't trust the universe, I don't trust God. And um, it connected with me. I had actually a, a an event 
of something that happened with my mom, something that my mom used to do with me, uh, that I made the connection, oh, I get it, you know, I could see why I don't trust, you know, from a few of these circumstances. And I've just committed to trust. It's like, I know that there are plants aren't complaining about whether or not, you know, the money's coming or whether or not the rain's coming. They know they're taken care of, always, always. And it's like, the God, the source, the, the infinite intelligence that makes this planet spin on its axis knows what I need and knows how to bring it. And it's like, I, I've just been like letting go into that. And I have a funny story. Um, let's see how we doing here on time. I, we, Jason and I have been taking this class called Science of Mind. Um, it's something that we've been intending and then all of a sudden, you know, you guys know how this works. We were intending it and then somebody at a place we go to said, oh, we're going to start offering this class. Ding, ding, ding. Well, there you go. There's, there's synchronicity at, at its best. We've been taking it and loving it. Um, and I would suggest you guys check it out. Um, it's a great course, great book to read. And so every, every week we say, you know, do you have a demonstration? And we did. We, uh, we got kind of in, you know, because when you first start something, sometimes a lot of emotions come up. And I'll probably make a video about that later, about emotions and about uh, a lot of the misdemeanors around emotions. So we had some intense emotions come up and then we decided, okay, let's just get out of the house. Like, ugh, let's just get out of the house. And we were driving and I decided to just start singing. Like I kind of pulled, I started to pull myself out and started singing some of these kind of cheesy, like songs we sing on Sundays, you know, like opening my heart to the love of God, stuff like that. Just real simple, real cheesy. And it made me feel better. And all of a sudden I felt back in the flow like that quickly. And, you know, or as Abraham Hicks says, the vortex. And we got down there and we were getting some gas. And then I was like, ooh, a kitty. And you guys know I love cats. Hello, my name's Katie. I love cats. So I run up to touch this cat. And then Jason's like, what's that? And I was like, what's what? And he's like, that. I'm like, what? And we look down and um, there was this little bracelet next to the cat. And I was like, what? Okay, whatever. So we pick it up and the bracelet says, let go, let God. Okay, and then and the rest of like our, our evening was like that. Then all of a sudden we park and then there's somebody with a shirt that says happiness is, is you know, the key to success. And then there's a bumper sticker that says manifesting excellence. And then, and then it's like, bam, bam, bam. When you are in the flow, when you are in, you know, your, your zone, the whole world matches it everywhere, all around you, everywhere. It matches you. Everyone's just right there. So these tiny little demonstrations, I'm going to talk about them more um, in other videos too, of all these little demonstrations since Jason and I started on kind of this new uh, path since we got back and we decided, okay, it's time to just stop doing all this stuff that just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. And to some people it might, for us it didn't. And for, frankly, for almost every person that we've met, and it could just be that this is the way we feel and so they're matching that, very much, very, you know, very true. A lot of people we've met have been just, I don't like it. I don't, why am I even doing this? What am I doing? You know, what am I doing? <laughs> um, and so I just want to give you permission as I've been given permission, which I thought is so hysterical. Somebody has to give me permission to be what I already want to be. Um, but I just give you permission to just relax and receive and allow and let go and let God. Let go and let God and, um, and see what happens, you know? just day by day, step by step, you know, it doesn't have to be some quantum leap. So um, I think that's it for now. I, yeah, my video's going long here and just wanted to tell you what was up with me and um, was, you know, and then was in Oahu over the weekend and that was something I'd been intending that happened. So awesome stuff, stuff's rolling. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely a journey and it's definitely hard at times and it's definitely, there's definitely highs and lows and there's definitely um, relearning and unlearning and um, and it's good. It's all good. It's all God. It's all good. It's all God. You always get it right and you never get it done. Hallelujah for that. Okay, you guys, that's it. Much love and aloha from beautiful Molly Hawaii.